Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back from the fall shows in Tucson. I hit, I think, five vendors out of all of them and we went to two shows, but I made, I did some damage. <laughs> I did do some damage. So I'm gonna go in order, I guess. The first one, I'm only showing you three vendors because the two artisan vendors, um, Amy Mealy and Maku Raku, are gonna get their own videos. So this is the first thing and it's an ambitious ambitious piece that I picked up at this seller. It is, and my friend Julie educated me, it is a Naha or a Naja. I don't know which one, or a Nasha, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's N-A-J-A, -A, and it's a shape that goes on the bottom of a squash blossom necklace. Now, this is turquoise, it's Chinese turquoise, um, so it, has, it didn't come out of like any of the Arizona mines, but it came out of a mine in China. Um, and then it, this is not silver, but I don't remember what what um, metal it is. But uh, as being a starter <laughs> piece, um, this is start where you're at. If you're if you're you don't have to get super expensive collectors pieces. Start where you can get, you know get them, and and this is something that I think would be beautiful for more everyday wear. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. This is what the back looks like. Love it, love it, beautiful, and um, yeah, that's one of my favorite pieces. There's a lot of pieces in this from this seller. <laughs> this one was only five bucks. I got it from their clearance section little um hand it's bone and it's got some brass in there and then it's just encased oh i didn't see the bird on the back how cute but you know i like hands um, i've shopped with this seller several times and i've never i don't think i've ever used one thing that i've gotten from them but i got such beautiful pieces every time so i keep buying with them this is their information and um, check them out because they're just, they're really nice people. Every time I shop with them, they, they, obviously I'm buying stuff, but they're nice. I like shopping with them. Sometimes people at shows aren't the nicest. This is one of the last things I picked up, but I thought it was just so cute. Four turtles hanging out together, one facing this way, one going up and to the left, one up and to the right, and one down. He's just so cute. And he's got two bales. This is what the back looks like. I really liked, the two bale idea because I can put string some beads here, some cord, something that can also be um, decorative instead of just like some leather or something. But anyway, I thought it was so cool. A little different than things that I usually pick up. I don't usually pick up turtles, but I thought it was really adorable. My mom loved that one. I got these little drops. So I got two green and two clear. Now, typically I would think you would wanna use these in earrings. I don't know if that's the route I'll go. Um, I'm thinking more and more about starting to sell jewelry again. I just, I'm, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I think I might. These are actually like more, a little bit of a smoky. They're not completely clear. Um, or I could just use them as drops in a necklace. So we're on a, the end of a bracelet or something. Got this bronze coin. It's double-sided. I think he mentioned this. It's got stuff from the Zodiac in it, um, but I don't know if it's like Chinese Zodiac or, I, I don't know much about Zodiac no matter what, but he said it was more of like a protection thing. I thought it was really cute. I'm not using it for that. I just like the design. I keep looking through this bag and I'm just still so pleased with everything I got that I'm just, I'm happy I decided to YOLO it. <laughs> Look at this, Swarrow Cactus with Freshwater Pearls. Um, I did, I, I've shopped with them three or four times at this point and I've never seen this before. I feel like I see something new every time I go to their booth. Um, it's so gorgeous, so lovely. And um, I just, my mom was like, stunned when she saw it because I showed her everything she was like she actually cared this time like she's like what'd you get and I was like okay um and she like tried to steal it from me and I, I'm sad that I can't go back and get her one but maybe in the in the um the winter shows when I see them I will grab one for her um it was funny when we were driving down there I was like hey you guys remember those lapis fish beads we bought last year out of nowhere 
and then all of a sudden there was a lapis fish pendant this is um it's been well loved this little lapis piece of fish or this little lapis piece of lapis turned into a fish but last year we got some lapis fish beads at the same show not the same seller and i haven't used them of course but i was like oh just a weird thing and then we show up and there was one lapis pendant that was in the shape of a fish and i was like blown away so i had to get it i will insert a photo of the beads from last year here and of course i'll have to use them in conjunction with each other so just such a fun find this was one of the first things i picked up this was one of the first things i picked up as well it's another swallow but it's got the chinese turquoise it's stunning i love her so much and um yeah I, I i want to make something to to wear with it so it's not sitting in a drawer for the rest of my life but i don't have any ideas at the moment but like i said i need to start shopping more in my bead room so um, i'm not just looking at stones i'm looking at everything i have look at those so gorgeous so so pretty um, and you're not going to be shocked when you see this one. <laughs> uh, well, I was shocked when I saw it, though. I just thought it was so beautiful. Beautiful eye. And they had several, so I stood there for a few minutes and chose the one that spoke to me the most. I really love the cab, the turquoise cab in this one. Um, and it's got a lotus on the back and a little bit of patina going on here and on the back. I might clean the one up here because I'm not really a fan of that bright blue, but maybe not. I might patina it further. You never know. I just think it's really gorgeous. So pretty. And then I have two more pieces. This one, I was just giggling when I saw it. And I don't like bugs, and you know that. But when I saw this one, I was like, it's so happy. I have to get it. And it's so fat. It's just such a fat bug. <laughs> and look, I feel like he has a little smile. A little smile going on there. Well, maybe it's his nose. I don't know. Do bugs have noses? I don't know the things that come out of my mouth on this channel <laughs> but look at him and he's carrying some turquoise and a beautiful flower underneath there were so many i stood there for a few minutes just trying to figure out which one i wanted i really liked this piece of turquoise um yeah it's just i could just picture this guy just walking down the street with his turquoise on his back and it makes me happy something that little makes me happy i gotta grab it Every time I look at him, I kind of giggle a little bit because of that little smile. And then last but not least, this was the last thing I saw. And of course, and this is what ended the day. I was like, or not the day, the, the shopping trip at this stall because this was the first stall I hit. This awesome, this is Bumblebee Jasper. And then we've got turquoise around the outside. Now, my friend Cindy also got one and hers had some white, but this one I really liked because the stones kind of are ombre. It's almost like, green turquoise into the more blue and then um i would have liked one with more banding like more white banding but this is wonderful my mom really loved this one she said it looked like um uncle like map to her and uh i, I agree I, I really really love it they had rings like this um, i'm not really a ring person but maybe i would be for a ring like this <laughs> but it's a big 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 piece i'm gonna have to Kind of think about how i'm going to design around this uh but i'm i'm in love with it it's not the straightest piece now that i'm looking at it but i kind of noticed that I, I guess the straightness is between the top here and then the bottom here but i don't care i think it's gorgeous what do you think um okay so that was that first seller <laughs> i should have probably just gone home after this because it was very expensive but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the second seller. Like I said, I only shopped two sellers and at um, Jogs, and this was the second one. This is the company. I don't know. Yep, they do have a website. Don't know that you would get bead show prices, um, but that's the. This is the seller. The first thing that really drew me to this. Um, seller were these Z agate beads. I really liked how black and white they were. Um, I probably have something similar, but I really like in the lights there, they looked really nice. Now, don't flip out when you see the price. The, the 
these sellers, I don't know why they do this. I think they try and like do some weird math to try and trick you into thinking you're getting a really great deal, but they priced these exorbitantly. This one was priced at $68. Uh, no, not in any realm of the possibility would I ever pay $68 for a strand of um, beads, agate beads like this, never. Uh, then they have some sort of list in the cart or in your basket that breaks down what it actually comes to. These were $8. So, I mean, that's, and that's pretty much the most I would ever pay for these. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think they were $7.50 or $8. And then, um, so you're going to see some ridiculous prices here. I also got these agate beads. They are not Botswana agate. Again, these were probably seven bucks or something like that. Um, but they look like Botswana agate. I think they're just regular dyed agate. They're so gorgeous. They did have some Botswana agate that was double this price. So um, I got these instead and I just really liked them. Um, I also got these, more Z agate. They had the same price on them. Um, I like the, so these are, I think heat treated to get those lines in them um, and, the, and dyed and stuff, but I don't care what they do to them. I just like the way they look. and. Uh, they're translucent with a white line through. Love them. These are, I think, 12, yeah, 12 millimeter. These are 12 and these were 10. And then last but not least from this seller, um, these were 12 millimeter. Again, the, the price is off. And we have a, what do they call this? Plated agate. So it's got like a beautiful luster on it. But look, it's not just yellow beads. It's agate that's been dyed. Um, and they've got that agate banding. Oh, I just love them. I, I showed these to my mom as well. And she goes, oh my gosh. She's like, I just, I just want a bracelet. And I think, yeah, that would be a really nice bracelet. If I just did a whole bracelet with like maybe a big, um, Baroque pearl or something in the middle, like just a stretchy. They're so pretty. I would be looking at these beads all day. But anyway, that was that second seller. Just got those four. And then we went over to the casino where I purchased from Amy and Makuraku, but <laughs> Julie and I first hit the guy with the African beads and we weren't looking for African beads because usually during the winter shows, we hit African Village and they have beautiful beads, beautiful culture, beautiful people over there and we love talking with them and, and shopping and their prices are fantastic. So we asked this guy and his name is Abdulli and he was just such a sweetheart. He goes, he told us the same prices that we were getting at um, African Village and we we're like, okay, because we saw some new strands that we didn't have and we were like, okay, well, how many, how much are these? And when he told us they were $8, <clears throat> we kind of went a little crazy because some of these beads would be more at African Village and I'll show you, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get them out. The reason why they would be more at African Village is because, well, I don't know why they'd be more at African Village, but the reason they should be more than $8 because these are very long strands with lots of beads on them. So these are, I have gray. This is, I don't know, this is like a 24 inch strand, maybe 22 inch strand of beads. Yeah, it's like 24 inches, two feet. Two feet of glass beads for eight bucks. Do you know how many projects I can get out of that? A lot. And they're African glass. These are handmade beads. Ugh. So I got gray. So when he told me, I was like, just give me every color. <laughs> so I got gray, this beautiful lime. I got a purple. I know I have these, but maybe not this size. I got a yellow. I need you to keep your britches on though, because I got a lot of beads here. It wasn't just these beads. <laughs> um, I got red. which I don't have a lot of red African beads. And I know I got an orange. And I told him I didn't want brown, but I'm so glad he didn't listen to me because I came home and there was brown in my bag. <laughs> I'm sure he charged me for it, but I was dreading or regretting that I didn't get brown. But then here's the brown. And I got teal. So look, th I mean, just this would have been a great score. They look like Skittles, don't they? Aren't those some pretty colors? Um, so I got all those colors and then I didn't have this shape. I know I have this color, but I didn't have the shape or size. Um, so I guess this is like a new shape that they're coming out with or that they've put out. Um, I love the bottle glass color. It's like a lighter bo bottle color. Um, these are very similar, but they're clear. 
I might, I know I have these, but maybe a little bit smaller, but aren't those beautiful? Very coastal. Um, this is one of the strands that I've gotten before from maybe um, one of the bead stores downtown Phoenix. I don't typically buy the rings because they're always too expensive. Now, this was an expensive strand, it was $20. The thing is, I'm never, I have a strand, I never use it because I don't want to use them up because they were expensive. Well, now I have more and I'm not going to use them all up in one project. I could, this, this is again, such a long strand and that's why I thought it was worth it. These are very heavy beads um, and they add a lot of character. I, I'm not justifying my spending to you. I'm just telling you why I think if you saw them at this price, you might want to buy them um, or less than this price, but this was such a good deal. Everything from this guy was a good deal. I got these brass beads. These were $8. And I'm telling you because a lot of you ask, if you don't want to know the prices, that's okay. I'm sorry, but a lot of you ask how much beads are sometimes. So um, these were eight. Nice, a sturdy strand of beautiful African brass. These are bone. Um, this was... This was ten dollars and uh, that's a really good deal usually these are 15 um, or more at african village so these were some beautiful beautiful beads and he had tons of beads that i didn't even get because i have a lot of them I only had these three colors otherwise i would have gotten every single color he had these were eight again for this long strand of beads this is usually 15 at african village which i think is a good price but um, when they're almost half that, mm -mm, I'm going to, I'm going to stock up so, um, I can make kits. I can make jewelry, just have it sit in my, um, hoard for a while. These are such nice and big beads. Now there are two different types, types of glass. We've got the mixed like brown granite looking glass, and then we've got the blue or red or green. And they're such fun colors. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if they call these Christmas beads, but that's what I call them. Uh, these were five for a long strand. These are large seed beads or padre beads or whatever you want to call them. I love. They had tons of them, but I, I just I think I had several of the colors they have, and I knew I didn't have this colorway and this size. <clears throat> Those are fun for leather bracelets because they have a little bit larger hole. This was the only color of Ashanti beads I got. Um, I guess the bone were kind of the Ashanti color, but, um, or shape, but I have so many colors. I don't think I had this lighter yellow. I will be washing this though. <clears throat> the thing I will say is this booth had really clean beads. Sometimes when you shop at African Village, they're very dirty because African Village is outside and it's dusty. Um, and these beads are handmade and sometimes they're not washed. So I will probably be washing these. I just put them in a bowl or like a strainer with some dish soap and water and swirl them around and then I put them, lay them flat to dry. So that's what I'll do with those. Now I'm not going to wash any of the brass beads or anything, but I did get some more brass beads. These are copper. They're little tiny spacers. This was $5. Tons. I mean, hundreds of spacers. And then brass, large brass, these are usually like anywhere from 20 to 30 to $40, depending on where you buy them. Not, not at African Village, or probably like 15 to 20 at African Village, or maybe even 12, but at shops in, in Phoenix, they can run up to 40 bucks, depending on who you're buying them with. Um, in kits, they can go for a dollar a piece, more than that. Um, and then this, I love this shape. It's like a lantern shape. So both of those were eight. I can't, I still can't believe that. I can't believe I didn't buy more, but I mean, at that point, we'd gone a little crazy. I got some more of these. Um, I guess it is the Ashanti shape, but I didn't have this colorway. I thought it was really like, almost like superhero colors. Look at that. I didn't realize that those would go together and these would go with them. But like, I just really like the yellow and red and blue together. I have um, maybe a couple this shape, but not any of this color orange. And I just loved it. He had several different colors like this, but I hadn't seen this color orange before. I might even have an orange one, but I really like that. And that was it. But here's his information. 
So um, you can reach out there at, he says he is at African Village when uh, in the winter shows. So I'm gonna go see him then because we loved, we loved everything he had there. But um, I'm sure he's open to hearing from you if you wanted to buy some beads. So, and tell him where you saw his information. He probably won't even remember me, but <laughs> I think um, he would love to see the video. So anyway, I, I went nuts, but you know, we, we do this two, two times a year, and this one's on a much smaller scale than winter. Um, we're getting ready to, to find hotels and stuff for winter shows in February or January, February. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me know what your favorite part of this haul was. Um, my favorite part, oh, it was definitely the pendants for sure. I already put them away, but the, the, um, Naha or Nasha and the eye and the, uh, like the little beetle and my little swaros, those were my favorite but I love everything. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie. Let me know if you've ever been to a show or if you're planning to go to a show and what you'd like to see me make with some of this stuff. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.